Hey, what's up, world? It's your boy, Dev. Out here in John Hines Wildlife Refuge. I'm on the Philadelphia side. Started at Ridley Park. Took my ride around. Now I'm chilling on the bridge. I, I always come to this bridge to find a little bit of peace. Um, got a lot of work that we doing in the city of Chester. Trying to build up our downtown. Uh, my primary focus right now is downtown. Just to let y'all know some of the things that uh, I got going on right now. Uh, we opened up a space called Abstract Space on Avenue of the States, where we house a lot of our painting parties, our community events. We've done a lot of workshops there with Widener University. Uh, we just got a few grants in that uh, I think a lot of the people out there should know about. One of the grants that we're working with right now is from the uh, Barra Foundation. Barra Foundation sponsored our uh, Boundaries and Bridges projects that we're doing with Widener University. And uh, some people may have been to some of the events. We had a cooking workshops. We just done a dance workshop that was real nice. We, we done one day at Widener and one day in downtown Chester. We just got another grant from Pew, which we uh working on Avenue of the States and the grant is for the Discovery Zone and we're working on some some history of Chester and we're working on rebuilding the downtown through the arts as well. Uh but then on a personal note, uh, a lot of people may know I purchased some of the properties downtown. And and my idea was with us seeing the interest in Chester and with almost a million dollars that has been granted to Chester for arts related projects. And if you come up and down the Avenue of the States, you see artists everywhere. You, you see uh, galleries opening up. You see, you got the cafes there. And we got, now we're working on upstairs living spaces on Avenue of the States, Linda Bracelet. Uh, she's working on her apartments right now. Soon I'll be going for my permits for our apartments. So we'll have probably like 16 uh, apartments on Avenue of the States that people can live in as well. I'm in full swing of opening a coffee shop on Avenue of the States, which is called Avenue Brew. Avenue Brew is going to be a space where people could come. It'll be free Wi-Fi, internet service. Uh, it'll be a nighttime cafe, coffee shop, small restaurant, but a place where people can gather, people can have business meetings. You can tell a client that you're working with that I have a place for you to meet at inside the city of Chester. We've been developing all of this stuff through the arts, so we wanted people to know how strong the arts are in Chester and how much support we need from the community. See, one of the things that's been happening, and people sit back and you watch this stuff happen, that most of the support has been coming from outside of the city. And it always happens like that. Chester doesn't really jump on Chester things until everybody else does, which is sad because by the time you, get, you grab a hold of it, it's already gone and there's nothing that you can do. I think all of y'all out there should be a part of the buildup of this. We've got a lot of money that we're investing into downtown Chester right now, but in hopes that if we redevelop the downtown, that you and other people will grab hold and start developing neighborhoods that surround the downtown. That's how you rebuild communities. First, you gotta give people something. First, you gotta let them see that there's people willing to invest and that's one of the things that I'm telling you, 300% I'm willing to do. I've been doing it for years, investing in summer camps and free workshops with the kids, paint parties with the kids, and then I do a lot of adult and community events as well. But it's coming to the point where it's growing and it's getting bigger and bigger and we need more people to step up and, and do something about it. I don't want people to keep sitting back, oh, you're doing a great job. No, nah, no, nah. I don't want to be doing a great job. I want us to be doing a great job because the more people that we got working, the more work that we get done. I'm also in the process of uh, restructuring and rebuilding and rebranding our artist warehouse. Uh, just purchased a, a 30,000 square foot warehouse, which will turn into artist lofts and workspace for the artists. It's going to have a, a full conference room, photography studio, a commercial kitchen. Uh, we're thinking about putting it in so that people in the community that does catering and different things like that will be able to use it. We're also uh, working on building 
a, a, a psych wall inside of the warehouse for all of our video production friends who, who like shooting films and stuff like that. I just want the space to be utilized by people in the community so they can build their business and they can build their brands. This is way bigger than me, so I need a lot of hands involved. I need a lot of people involved in order to make this happen. And thus far, I, I'm very appreciative of the people who have been helping and the people that have been supporting. But then we have those sideline people, the people who sit on the sideline and watch stuff happen. And then when you get uh, accolades or a great press or some other people show appreciation for the stuff that you're doing there, they're sitting on the sideline and they're getting mad because you're getting the attention. And my thing is, I don't care about the attention. I've been doing the work that I've been doing since I was a child. I was born and I grew up in a house where people would sing all the time and we were painting and we were building stuff. So this is nothing new to me. So the accolades, I don't really need them. I, I love when I got them from my grandparents and from my parents and from my uncles and cousins and stuff like that. But I don't need it from the public to say that I'm doing a good job because I'm not doing the job to hear anybody say that I'm doing a good job. I'm doing the job because I see that our city has a need to do it. So I'm telling y'all what's going on. There are millions of dollars dropping in the city of Chester as we speak for arts related projects, for redevelopment projects, for historic projects, for all types of projects and workshops and people are investing in businesses and stuff like that. And I want y'all to know that it's happening. The money's not coming to me. It's getting spread out to uh, people inside of our city. And I think y'all need to know about it because there's a lot of y'all sitting there, sitting on the idea, sitting on some artistic practices, and you're saying that I don't have the money to do it. Well, you got to be in the places where the things are happening in order to get the money to do it. With that being said, I'm just going to let y'all know. I got to continue my ride. I'm going to continue to think. Then in a little bit, I'll be back in the city, redeveloping, rebuilding, rebranding our city, and hopefully the Hopefully some of the things that we're doing with combat